In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix outer hip pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over a step-by-step -step guide that can give quick and long-lasting pain relief for outer hip pain. And to keep it simple, we're going to focus on the main instigator, which is tightness and weakness in the glutes. But we're also going to target key supporting players that promote pelvic and hip stability. All three parts work just a little bit differently, but they're meant to work together. So if you want the best results, go through all three parts. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home, require no special equipment, and you may find give quick outer hip pain relief even within 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that hip pain for good right now. In the first part, we're going to focus on warming up the muscles. That's bringing some good blood flow in to improve circulation, increase flexibility, and hopefully get some quick pain relief. This one is known as the horse stance or the sumo squat. It's a perfect exercise that you can do throughout the day anytime that you feel outer hip pain starting to build or just as a means to help prevent it. So to get into position, you're going to take a wide stance like this. You want your feet wider than your hips. Keep going out until you feel a really good stretch in the inner part of the leg, the thigh right here, but also into the hips. Don't go to the point of pain. Stop right before that point. What we're going to do next is now take our feet and then angle them outward like this. I like to go roughly about 45 degrees. That will put the hip into external rotation and you should really start to feel a, a pretty good stretch starting to form in that area. So once you feel that, you're then going to put all of your body weight onto your heels and then we're going to tighten our core for a little bit more support for the spine. To keep our back straight during this exercise, Take your hands, put them together like this, kind of like a prayer position, and press them inward. We don't want to round our back or tilt forward like this too much. Keep it nice, straight, and neutral. The movement from here, very, very easy. With our body weight onto our heels, we're just going to squat downward by bending our knees and taking our bottom downward towards the floor. As a note too, look downward towards your legs and your knees. You want your legs and your knees tracking in a nice straight line with your toes. So if you notice that they're kind of buckling in like this, really focus on bringing them back into line with your feet. But keep going down to the point where you feel a ton of muscle start to fire. You really want to focus on the glutes right here, the buttocks, and also around the outer part of the hip. Keep going down until you feel a really good activation of those muscles, but not causing any pain or discomfort. Stop right before that point. Once you hit that point, we're going to hold this one comfortably for about three to five seconds, and then you're just gonna come back up just like this. On the next repetition, I try to go out just a little bit more with it. Really challenge yourself to get a nice wide stance. It will make it more challenging, and you'll also get more pain-free range of motion. So I just keep doing this over and over again for about 10 to 15 repetitions. And Afterwards, if you do feel like you have just a little bit more energy, you can always throw in another set or two. So after we're done warming up the muscles, we're going to move on to the most important part, which is strengthening. So definitely don't skip this. This first exercise is called the TFL glute raise. It's going to target two main instigators of outer hip pain, which are tight and weak glutes, which make up the buttocks, and the tensor fascia lata, or TFL muscle, right here on the front part of the leg, on the front part of the hips. So to get into position, we're going to lie on our side in bed or on a floor with the painful side upward towards the ceiling. Support your head with your hand just like this. I like to have my body in a nice straight line to begin with. My knees are going to go bent at 90 degrees. Slowly bring your knees upward towards your chest until you feel a really good stretch forming in the glutes. Once you feel that, you're going to take your top leg right here and then just straighten your knee out as much as possible, keeping this top leg in a nice straight line with this bottom leg. What I'm going to do from there is take my foot and turn it inward as much as possible. This will really intensify a stretch on the outer part of that hip. So really focus on feeling that. Once you feel that, you're then going to raise your foot, your heel upward towards the ceiling as much as you can. You're going to feel a deep activation of the glute muscles and across that outer hip. You want to hold this one comfortably for three to five seconds and then you're just going to relax it. We're now going to go through different positions to target that TFL and the glute just a little bit differently. So this time around, I'm going to turn my foot inward as much as I can, 
raise my leg up, but now do a kicking motion where I'm bringing my leg in front of me. The more that you go forward, the more that you're going to feel that tensor fascia lata on the front part of the leg right here start to fire. Really focus on feeling that. Three to five second hold, you're just gonna come back down and relax. Now let's target the glutes a little bit more by doing a similar motion, but this time around we're going to kick backwards. So take that back as much as you can and you should really feel it into the buttocks. Hold this for three to five seconds, you're just going to relax and then you want to repeat this whole cycle going in those three motions for three to five complete repetitions. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. And to make this one more challenging, you can always throw in more repetitions. This next strengthening exercise is going to focus on the quadratus lumborum or the QL muscle. The QL and the glutes work together to stabilize the pelvis, including keeping your hips level. So you can imagine if you have tightness or weakness off to one side, you can get a lot of issues, including uneven hips that lead to strain and pain on the outer part of that hip. So here's a really easy exercise that you can do throughout the day to help fix that. It's called the QL hip hiker. It's easily done at the edge of a stair. So start off by stepping up on that stair with your non-painful side. The painful side's foot and leg are going to be off to the side. The movement is really easy. What you're going to do is take your hand, put it right on the painful side's hip. And now what you're going to do is lift or hike that hip upward towards the ceiling. It's really important that we move through the pelvis, through the hip with this one. We're not trying to bend away from it to get it to more or less hike up. So the more that you go up with the hip, the more that you're going to feel a lot of muscles start to fire. But you really want to concentrate on feeling it in the location of the QL, which is right below the ribs right here off to the side of the lower back into the top of the pelvis. Hold this position right here for about five seconds and what you're going to do is now slowly lower your foot downward kind of like fighting your body weight. It just hits the muscles a little bit differently. You're going to relax and then you're going to repeat this one 10 to 15 times and with each repetition challenge yourself to build into it just a little bit more. And I do recommend for good measure to switch to the other side too, just to keep everything in balance. But again, this is something that you can do throughout the day that will really help strengthen those muscles and may really quickly fix that outer hip pain. So after we're done with the strengthening exercises, we need to focus on stretching. Stretching will help keep the muscles loose while also helping to avoid soreness. This one is called the 90-90 QL stretch. It's an all for one that will pretty much target all of the muscles that we worked on throughout this video. So we're going to start off on a floor. Whatever side that you're having outer hip pain, let's say it's my left side, that's going to be our back side. So our front leg is going to go straight out in front of us, knee bent at 90 degrees. Our back leg is going to go directly off to the side, knee also bent at 90 degrees, thus the 90-90 stretch. With this back hip, we want to drive it into the floor as much as we can and hold that position during this exercise. It'll help target the hip just a little bit more. So the first movement is pretty easy. We're going to keep our back straight and then pivot forward through our waist, lowering our chest downward towards the floor. The more that you go down, the more that you're going to feel a deep stretch form over a lot of muscles, including on the front part here into the glutes and the piriformis. On the back side, you're going to really feel it on the inner part of your leg, working its way into the hip. Hold this one comfortably for 20 to 30 seconds. You're going to come back up, take a breather, and then repeat this one three to five times. And with each repetition, build into it just a little bit more. We're going to take this one to the next level by now focusing on the quadratus lumbar muscle. So again, whatever side that you're having pain, in this case it's my left, what I'm going to do is reach towards the opposite direction. So I'm reaching towards my right, kind of like rotating my body, reaching away towards the right while also keeping that hip pressed down towards the floor as much as we can. When you do this, you're going to feel a really deep stretch forming at the bottom part of the ribs, working its way into the lower back, and then down into the pelvis. You really wanna focus on feeling that. Once you feel that, we're going to intensify the stretch by now rotating and turning our chest downward towards the floor. This will really cause a deep stretch and it usually feels really, really good. I like to hold this one for about 20 to 30 seconds. I just relax and then I repeat this one three to five times. And with each repetition, build into it just a little bit more. Afterwards, I like to change the positions of my legs to make sure that I'm also focusing on both sides 
to keep everything in balance. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.